iron ore. Jamaica does have iron, but do we have enough for mining? Tashane in her 2023 paper highlights that the era of Mavis Bank does have significant quantities of magnetite minerals. Now what it is that you need to be aware of is that in terms of iron minerals, there exists key minerals such as hematite, magnetite. Now the reason why I focus on these two only is that these two minerals were highlighted in Tashane's paper. Now, as it regards to what are some of the uses of iron, well, the production of steel stands out. As you should be aware, in Jamaica, we can see a lot of construction taking place. So that shows that kind of application. But there also exists iron usage in energy, such as in renewable uh, resources, as well as iron uses in household appliances. Now, as per Tashane's paper, the Mavis Bank District hosts the largest showing of iron in Jamaica, with current resources estimated at 1.2 million tons, as per Zanz in 1955. Iron mineralization occurs chiefly as massive bodies of magnetite and hematite. Now, this section of the paper also went on to mention that copper and cobalt are also present albeit in low-grade disseminations. Now, this paper also went on to mention that in addition to magnetite being found near the scarn zones of metasomatized limestone and intrusives, and just to mention, metasomatized basically means, you know, metamorphic changes of what could have been initially sedimentary rock this case limestone now transitioning into marble as a result of heat and, and, and pressure. And basically intrusive igneous rock is basically speaking about rocks that are from within the earth, such as granodiorite. So basically magnetite is found within those zones, plus also being found within areas of shale, which is a sedimentary rock that is indicative of low energy environment or in other words times when there is no form of heavy rainfall or no form of flooding other minerals this paper went on to mention include diopside epidote chlorite and sulfides such as pyrite pyrotite and chalcopyrite now just to stick up in here what i find very interesting is the close similarity between these mineral locations and the mineral locations that I came across in Bellasgate, St. Catherine. What it is that you basically should recall from the video of my gold mine visit is the mention of chalcopyrite. This specifically was mentioned in the borehole video. And basically, chalcopyrite is copper, iron, sulfide. So in essence, what it is that I'm basically drawing reference to is how very likely it is that you could have good copper ore minerals, mineable quantities as well, within close proximity to this Mavis Bank region, as is the case in the better skate. Similarly, what it is that we more like could also see is just like how we have this large relative showing of iron minerals in the Mavis Bank region, there is the potential for similar numbers within other gold locations across the country, such as in Bellas Gate. That's just what I wanted to mention at this point. Now I discuss some economics as regards to minerals of iron and reference it to other minerals that we know exist in Jamaica. So according to Google AI, magnetite minerals can fetch prices within the region of 107 US dollars per ton. Now just to give you some reference, 
in terms of magnetite's tonnage, as indicated in Tashane's paper, what is relatively known is Jamaica having the region of 1.2 million tons of magnetite. Now, Jamaica is more so known for its bauxite and limestone. Now, according to the same Google AI, Jamaica's bauxite reserves are estimated at 1.6 billion tons. In terms of the price that we can get, bauxite ranges from 73 to 120 US per metric ton. As regards to limestone, Jamaica has an estimated 150 billion metric tons of limestone with approximately 50 billion tons considered recoverable. In terms of the price, limestone fetch approximately 140 to 170 US dollars per ton. Now, without me even having to go into the deep maths, you should be able to gather that based on the sheer quantity in bauxite and limestone, Jamaica stands to earn more in mining of these minerals relative to magnetite with its mere 1.2 million that we know of currently. Having said this though, this doesn't mean that in terms of local usage, Jamaica cannot get some degree of mineable value. So in essence, even if it's a case that we may not have enough for export quantities, Jamaica should consider positioning itself to utilize its magnetite for local needs. Now, what it is now that you should also look at is the sheer vast difference as regards to the value of the minerals I mentioned a while ago relative to gold. Golds measure in ounces can attract the range of 3,400 plus US dollars. Now that is crazy numbers. So I can see why now there's all of this big buzz and drive for Jamaica to really be finding, finding gold amongst our shores. So now then, in closing, here are my final points. Tashane's paper did mention that origin of the magnetite and other iron minerals within the Mavis Bank region is theorized to arise as a result of hydrothermal and meteoric waters. Now, if you did listen my geothermal video, I would have made mention of hydrothermal waters and it's acting as a source of the hot springs in the Bath St. Thomas region. If you had also listened to my borehole video in reference to the gold mine in Bellasgate, I theorized the geologic history of that region to hydrothermal environments. So in essence, what you should be able to now see is the connecting of the dots, which is that the hydrothermal environment is the main source of these minerals, the magnetite slash iron minerals that are referenced here in, in the East, gold, copper, silver minerals that I would have referenced in Bellasgate region, more in the central locations of Jamaica. This basically is me trying to add support to my earlier claims that it is likely gold is also nearby this region here in the eastern section of the country. And as a matter of fact, geophysics would have made declaration of their exploration efforts in the Honga Valley, I believe in St. Thomas. And likewise, or similarly, iron minerals should be nearby that Bellas Gate, Central Jamaica region there. And that too is attributed to basically the gold environments, hydrothermal environments. So yes, very nice work here.